Hi, you doing your vegetables? It's Jake, and I'm back with the reshade tutorial um, for pipe. So go to reshade.me and uh, just, just yeah, click download. I'll take you here. Click download again. Open the setup. It's a really small file, and you can close your Chrome once it's opened. Right, it's opening. Right. So select game. You're gonna need to find your pipe folder. Uh, if you don't know where it is, um, it's going to be wherever it's installed with Steam. So mine's on program files. Uh, this was where yours should be. If you just you have messed around where your Steam installed files, your local C drive, program files x86, Steam, and then Steam apps common. Yours will be here in a uh, folder called Pipe. Uh, mine's my D disk because that's my secondary hard drive where I install games, and uh, mine's in my common folder there with all my other games. So there's Pipe. And then you just want to, the pipe application, click that and click open. So, uh, it'll say select rendering API, you want direct 3D 10 plus. Yep. Yep. It's just going to download all the um, like shader packs and all the sort of graphic modifications. And uh, I've already installed it, so it's reading from my preset now. If you want to pause the video now and you want to collect all the dot effects I'm using, choose your own, they're all... There's a lot to read into, so I recommend you uh, figure out what you want instead of getting them all because it will reduce your FPS. Having to preload all these onto your game. It's technically more like a hack. Don't use this in many online games. You can get banned in PUBG for this now. But yeah, so I've got adapt Adaptive Sharpen, Ambient Light, Bloom Effects, Border Effects, Chromatic Abbreviation, Clarity Colour Matrix, Colourfulness, CRT, Depth Haze, Emphasize, FXAA, Levels effects, Luma Sharpen, LUT, uh, Technical, Technical 2, uh, Vibrance, and Vignette. And I'll just press OK. And it'll say, oh, Edit Reshade Settings. Click on this, make a preset like that, and then just save it. Oh no, I meant Pipe I and I. But yeah, make a preset, save it, skip tutorial, and then uh, OK. And you can close this. And now you're going to want to open pipe, so I'm just going to steam real quick. So it'll pop up here, mine's loading 19, yours won't, so press, um, it'll actually go in game, get into the community thingy, the community thingy. So load up. Press start, community center. And then it load all your effects and not whatnot. It might not for the first time. As you can see, my game's gone back to default settings for all my effects, so it shouldn't look any different. Because nothing's enabled. This is all the game that's normally for you. To me this looks grey and dead. But we're gonna enable the settings basically. So press shift F2. Uh, you will not have all this, yours will be all collapsed. Um, and I want you to load your preset pretty much. And your settings as well. Go into your settings, and uh, you'll have all this stuff here and statistics as well. It tells you a lot about what's going on, the FPS, the frame timings, and a lot of other stuff. It's kind of cool, but you're just gonna go into home. Make sure you've loaded your INI file that you created earlier, and uh, you want to click on these, pretty much, and you can you can turn them on. So I want. Uh, you can have border, makes a little border around how big you want it. But uh, the ones that we're going to go with is clarity, as you can see it's already done something. Colourfulness, already done something. Luma sharpen, technicolor 1 and 2. Vibrance, and then there's depth haze. Uh, no, we want to turn emphasize off. And then there's chromatic abbreviation, turn that on. And uh, my settings for clarity and everything is pretty much stock. Uh, the only one I have on it is, well, the only one that I change is sharp strength plot to like 1085. Oh no, slightly, slightly lower, because it does give everything a bit of a weird edge. And then for my uh, vibrance, I put that up to about 80, not 0.8. And then just, it'll save it to your uh, config now, and you can just close this. 
And now your game should look awesome as it. There's a, there's a lot to play with. So, like, as you can see, I'm getting a bit of a blur effect. Um, that's because I've got too much chromatic abbreviation. So you can, uh, you can turn down the offset on that and the strength. In fact, you can turn that completely off. I know it's luma sharpen. Uh, there's, there's a lot going on. I'm just kind of looking for a nice depth here, I think. And we'll put chromatic abbreviation back on. Yeah, and turn, turn it like low. On point two. There we go. It's back to how it was. There we go. Game looks nice and more vibrant compared to what I used to. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. This high game will keep it beautiful. And I'll see you in the ne next tutorial. Enjoy reshade, uh, reshade pipe. And uh, yeah, see you boys in a bit.